Hello everyone to uh, another edition of our Bite Size PD. Uh, in today's session, we're just going to go over uh, a cool feature in Screencastify called Screencastify Interactive Questions. So it's something fairly new, and we're just going to do some example of what it, what it would look like and how do you uh, transfer it to your LMS, uh, maybe go over some example, and uh, hopefully that it will maybe inspire you to try and use it with your students uh, in your classroom, you know, online or in person. Um, so you can go ahead, like, you know, record your screen, uh, highlight a few items, uh, make it, you know, of course, you're making it interactive, uh, you're going over maybe some keywords. But then again, it, when you have these questions, instead of making it, uh, you know, into a Google Doc or Slide Deck, you know, you want to change it up uh, once in a while, we're going to go ahead and look at how we can make this into uh, more of an interactive um, uh, online activity. Okay. So uh, I'm going to pause this video and then we're going to continue it uh, with the editing feature. See you soon. So here we are. Um, this is the screen that you're probably very familiar with. Um, and when you're done your Screencastify video, of course, it opens up a new tab and you can go ahead and like trim the video. You can just verify that the audio is working. Um, you can have the shareable link. But then we're going to go ahead today and go over the interactive question. So, this will be uh, blank, and then you have to wait until it's done loading, uh, and then you'll be able to click on it. So we're gonna go ahead and see what happens. <clears throat> oh. It may ask you to sign in, which is totally fine. It's something that we pay for, and it's uh, vetted. Uh, so this could be just because I just recently uh, did a Chrome uh, update. Perfect. So uh, again, you get to uh, rewatch the video, and within the video, you can go ahead and scroll to a section where you may want to be asking, uh, asking questions. So then we're just going to pause it right there. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and click add a question at 43 seconds. Perfect. So depending on what question you want to, you know, you know, uh, it, it could be something related to uh, the worksheet itself, or it could be something that you want to add as well later. So we're just going to type in here date. And the answer, I believe, is 1967. And then we're just going to have 1968, 1971, and 1972. Okay, sure. And then, of course, the answer, correct key, and then save. Uh, so now, now, now that question is saved for that time uh, of the video. If you wanted to add another question, just scroll ahead, go forward, go backwards, doesn't matter, and then go ahead and add another question. When you're done, you can go ahead and immediately share it uh, to your LMS Google Classroom. You know, it because because it's something that we pay for, it's vetted, it's synced, that's good to go. And then when you go ahead and click on Share your Classroom, it's going to ask you, of course, um, which classroom you want to share it to. I'm going to go ahead and do Sample A. There we go. And then I'm just going to do it as a quick material and then go. Perfect. Let's go ahead and take a look at what does it look like. There we go. Student clicks on the link. So it will play again. Once they listen, once they watch the video, they'll get to the question. And then on the question, there we go, they're going to have to answer uh, the question. So answer it and then submit it. Once they're done, correct, they get immediate feedback, continue. And then what it looks like for you when you're done the activity and you want to go ahead and look at the question, you go back to um, responses and you'll get to see who responded and what not feedback and you get to collect that data or you can go ahead and do some conferencing with the students just to make sure that it, uh, they, they've done it right and whatnot. So. It, uh, it's, it's pretty neat, it's pretty cool. Um, and let us know how you would uh, probably use it in your classroom. Uh, we'd love to hear your ideas. And uh, we hope that it's something that's gonna maybe spark uh, something new uh, in your uh, integrating technology journey. Take care, thank you.